Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, big news today. Finally, we got our fight. Canelo versus Caleb Plant will happen. Um, that's official. Um, like I said, it was only dead. The talks were only dead until they were alive again. And now the fight is official. Just like I said, don't want to pat myself on the back, but I was 100% right about that. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, uh, 3D Boxing. Uh, comes at, uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, all right. And also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. It's 100% Texas boxing, and all proceeds go to uh, autism research and recovery. Uh, so it's something that's near, near and dear to our heart. Um, all right. So let's get into it. Um, this is the fight that Canelo wanted, which is why I always said that it was going to happen. Um, Canelo is the biggest name in the sport. He's the biggest money maker in the sport. Um, and when he says he wants to fight someone, um, it's going to happen, you know. And it happened. You know, Caleb Plant didn't have a bunch of lucrative options. There was no second choice, really. You know, for for Caleb Plant, I I, I heard him. You know, rumor that he was going to fight on undercards. It's ridiculous. Uh, if that happened, he should sue PBC for malpractice. But it didn't. You know, they got the fight, and it's made November sixth, um, Las Vegas. Um, so there's all's well that ends well, so to speak. Um, it, it 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 I think is one of the best fights that can be in all boxing. Um, I've given my prediction before, and I'll give it in just a minute. Uh, but Caleb Plant, um, you know, he's got the winner against Scott the Geek, Caleb Truax, Porky Medina, and then you know, his resume is not great, but his skill set is. Um, this is going to be a massive test for him, obviously. Canelo's the pound for pound number one guy in the sport. It's a massive test for Canelo, too. Um, Caleb Plant is, I think, the second best guy at 168. Behind only Canelo. I think if there's anyone at 168 that can beat Canelo, it's Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is fast. He's got surprising pop. His pop is better than he's given credit for. Um, he's better on the inside than Billy Joe is. He's a more complete fighter than Billy Joe is. Um, I, I think this is a fight that Caleb Plant can win. Um, th this is going to be a real challenge. Um, usually we pick Canelo. Anyone, you know, Canelo against anyone, we pick Canelo because Canelo is better than everybody else. Um, boy, I may be wrong about this, but I'm going to pick Caleb Plant. I, I think Caleb Plant, the same reason, I, I, I feel when I picked Tim Bradley to beat Manny Pacquiao in their first fight, um, I, I could see there was something different in Bradley, right? Like, like, like it was another day in the office for for, for Pacquiao, for Bradley, it was a career-defining moment. It was his whole life's work wrapped up into a, a single fight. Uh, I picked Bradley because of that. Um, I, I kind of see that in here with Caleb Plant. Um, Caleb Plant comes from nothing. Um, he built his way into this. This is kind of like his everything. It's his Canelo fight. If he wins this, he's a superstar. And I do think this. I do think he wins this fight, right? I, I think he's got the skills. I think um, I, I think he's got the discipline to do it. Um, you know, I, I think his game plan is, is to you know, box from the outside, to move, to stay off the ropes. Um, when, look, and Canelo's going to get on the inside. Canelo is far too good of a fighter. He's going to have moments. It's not like I, I think you know Caleb Plant's going to just walk through him, outclass him, shine on him, beat him one twenty one oh eight. No, it's going to be a dog fight. 
And Canelo's going to have moments. But I, I think Caleb Plant can hang in there on the inside and, and time up and kind of minimize uh, the work that Canelo does. You know, he's going to lose – He's going to lose on the inside, but um, he'll have more moments on the outside than he loses on the inside. And I think he'll win enough rounds. Um, he'll avoid getting knocked out. I think he'll win enough rounds to win this fight. And I think, you know, um, you know, three months from now, two and a half months from now, the undisputed champ of the 168-pound division, Caleb Plant. I, I, I am, you know, I know I haven't seen the odds yet. I know he's going to be a prohibitive underdog. I know Canelo on paper is a more complete fighter. He's probably, you know, he's the more accomplished fighter for sure. Um, but something is telling me that Caleb Plant's going to win this fight. Um, look, Caleb Plant hasn't fought anyone near the level of Canelo Alvarez. The best win Caleb Plant has is still Uskotiki. And, and there's nothing wrong with Uskotiki, but it ain't Canelo. That being said, <laughs> Caleb Plant's got the skills. C Caleb Plant's got the ability to do this. And, and, and I, I think if he fights a disciplined fight, he's obviously going to come in, in shape, motivated, 100% ready to go. That goes without saying. Uh, the question is, can he stick to the game plan? Can he execute the game plan to perfection? Can he fight the perfect fight? Because he's going to have to fight the perfect fight to win his fight. Because, like I said, Canelo does more things well than he does. But there's a path to victory for Caleb Plant if he sticks to it. Um, and I, I think for this one night, November 6th in Las Vegas, the Caleb Plant fights the perfect fight and beats him. Uh, but I'm glad we had this as a fight I wanted. It's really the only fight I've wanted for Caleb. The Vol fight was okay. There were other fights that were okay. Um, but this is the one I really wanted. And I, I knew that, look, Caleb Plant's getting $10 million for this fight. He gets one and a half for his other fights. So one and a half to two. He couldn't pass up on this. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't make as much in his next three or four fights as he'd make for this fight. And then if he if he wins this fight, he gets ten million a fight moving forward for the foreseeable future because he's a star. And I think he can win this fight. So I mean, even if he wasn't getting ten million for this fight, which he is, it would still be worth the take because the upside. If you beat Canelo, you're a superstar. And I, I, I think that moment's arrived. I, I think we may be getting a new superstar in the spot. His name is Caleb Plant. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think Plant has a chance like I do? Do you think he can win this fight? Because I really think he can. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, quick hits come at you twice a day, every day. Please like our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene. It's uh, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to tech, uh, Autism Research and Recovery. It is August 19th. Uh, 2021, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.